Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Star Wars video. Today comes courtesy of my friends over at Hasbro. We have an early advanced look at their brand new, straight from Star Wars Ahsoka, on Disney Plus of course. We have Shatterback Chopper, the curmudgeon -y, a little astromech droid. There he is peeking through the box. like the packaging on this. 40 plus sound and movement combos. Interested in checking that out. And you can basically talk to him like he's a Furby of some sorts, right? Now the sides of the box will show you everything he does. He's got little sounds, little movements. Here's a one-to-one -one scale so you know exactly how big he is. I like that they put that in there. But he goes up and he goes down. His little arms move. I'll show you all that in just a few. Here's the barcode. These should be shipping out and hitting store shelves anytime now. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of space coffee. This is an early advanced look. Straight from the new Disney Plus Star Wars show Ahsoka, we have Chatterback Chopper by Hasbro. And while I have all you rebels here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. And if you haven't already, why don't you consider subscribing, of course. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you'll like. So without further ado, you open up the box. Two little twisty ties, not that big a deal. And you have Chopper. And i got to give it to his row. I think they did a fantastic job at translating what you see on screen into toy form but right here on the back before we get started well you're gonna have to get yourself a screwdriver not only that you're gonna have to get yourself four double-a batteries make sure they all match I'm not very good at that and you gotta install them proper make sure you give the old instruction booklet a look-see got a couple steps just kind of guides you tells you what the figure does and whatnot I'm gonna take you through it don't worry so then once you have everything installed now it's time to have some fun with this new toy right now I will tell you this from the top to the bottom at least on the front he does have a lot of paint detail. He even has a little roughage here and there, which I appreciate. The world of Star Wars needs to look like it's been lived in. And Chopper looks like he lives uh, in Hera's ship flying around through space. They even have little hose right here, little details, little accents and whatnot. Now on the wheel, that moves, that spins. Unfortunately on the treads, he does not move, he doesn't spin. There's nothing in there in sense of movement. It doesn't hinder him gliding around. But for the price point, I think that would have been better, right? Now, he does come packaged with his legs straight up and down, which is not going to get him going in any type of stance, right? So, feel free, move the legs back. You're not going to break anything. You're not going to ruin anything. And that gets him going into astromech form, which, yes, gets him standing proper. Now, he does boast some articulation points. And for lack of uh, better anatomy for an astromech droid, there's nothing in the shoulders. That's part of his electronics. But he does have elbows on both sides. And he has a little twisty knob on the top of his head while the tire twists and rotates. One thing I want to point out, though, again, for the price point. A lot of times, companies these days have been putting party in the front and not really much happening in the back. And unfortunately, this toy is no exception. Now, I know... You're not going to be turning this toy around a whole heck of a lot. But it's nice to see a little bit of the detail go all the way around. He has it on the legs, but it's largely on the front. But to be honest, paint aside, you're really here for the electronics, the movins, and the shakins. Now, before we show you all that, I want to show you a little bit of the scalature. So if you're a collector of 90s Power of the Force, Black Series Vintage Collection, or otherwise... This Chatterback Chopper will be his own scale in and of itself. It's his own thing, which makes him more of a desk toy. And I will say that for adults, this might be the better electronic toy to have. And as far as kids, though, it's going to be really up in the air. Now, just to show you what he does, you got this little button right there on the front, little brown button. You give it a little push, and Chopper comes to life. And that is pretty darn cool, if you ask me. Again, mimicking the sounds the movements the chopperies that he speaks right you get the idea of what he's saying but he really does come to life on your shelf that being said this is more of an adult toy again the price point itself to give this to a kid to kind of throw around and do all that kind of stuff uh, that would be kind of tough to see now you can clap you can whistle you can make all kinds of movements much like a furby and Chopper comes to life as such. It's a lot of fun to kind of talk to him, 
But I like that you can talk to him. You can say, too bad about Kanan, right? But in all honesty, that only goes so far. If you have a large collection of Star Wars, yeah, I can see this totally going on your shelf. But you can talk to him too in the limited articulation that he has. Hold on, he's still moving around. It does add a little bit more personality. And you can actually move the little arm in the front. That activates him as well and does give him more things to do and say because if he actually is in power down mode you don't have to push the start button you can just move the arm around and that brings him to life as well so through and through like i said it's a great adaptation from what you see on the screen to a toy but i think that adding an accessory or two maybe a wrench he could have thrown that would be kind of cool and when you're done with chopper you simply hold down his power button and i love his power down noise right it's so sad <laughs> So through and through, like I said, this is to me a little bit less of a child's toy and more so an adult's toy, adult's collectible. It's just not something you want to see a child throwing around and I honestly think that there's not much here to keep kids engaged. It's hilarious for about five minutes or so and they're going to be bored and move on to something else. Chopper is a great character, he's a lot of fun and he brings a lot of personality with this toy so that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new chatterback chopper and again thank you to my friends over at hasbro for sending this out for the purposes of this video and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember now let's just hope that this thing doesn't come to life in the middle of the night when you do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon